Morning guys, Thursday today and I've woken up in a super positive, happy mood and the house is clean. I've had a shake this morning. Sorry, camera died, moving around. Yeah, today I'm gonna go to a spin class. I'm going to cycle to spin. I've got my new Gymshark gear on. It's like cool khaki color, I quite like. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I'm meeting up with my old manager, Brona. We're gonna have a Joe and the Juice because it's my favorite. Again, I've gone minimal makeup loving this very moisturized feeling and yeah anyway i gotta go <sighs> okay i'm home i am home yeah sorry i didn't manage to do any filming as out because you can't really surprisingly you can't film in the uh, women's locker rooms for, uh, for the start of the spin class and then after it i was just really red and toasty and wanted to get over to see brona so i've just had a joe and the juice and some food <sighs> just been to waitrose to get some bits in for dinner. Alex has nipped out on his own little secret mission today. So I am gonna film some videos. I've just had a net a porte box arrive. I treated myself to some, some newbies for my trip. I'm gonna show you some highlights for the Quatro shop. Vegan peanut and butter cookies. Non-dairy. I say vegan because it says vegan all over it, but how awesome. We've been trying to find this bad boy for bloody ages. Finally found it. I was like, okay, I'm just going to get it. It's that little treat. I've got some dressed crab because it's one of my favourite things to have with avocados. I've got myself a bounce ball and peanut and my delicious Ella ball and cashew ginger. And my absolute savies. Some apples. I was craving like some fruits. So I've got some apples. I've got, I have a second bag too. <laughs> Tonight for dinner. I decided, oh I got some gorgeous bread as well for breakfast for the crab and avocado. We're having little mini corn on the cobs with steamed broccoli, tomatoes and we're going to have, I'm going to put some little jacket potatoes in with tuna and I've got some spring onion. So it's going to be like a really lovely summery dinner. And I've got some coriander for my avocado to make guac. That's it. So I've kind of got two dinners, jacket potatoes with veg and Avo crab on toast. As always, boy, what else do I get? And that's it. That is it. I am gonna get myself checked. I might get in a shower. I had a really, really good spin class. Um, really, really enjoyed it. It was just me. It's the first time I've been to a UK spin class on my own. So I really, really enjoyed it. <sighs> it's a good 45 minutes sweat out. So I'm gonna, <laughs> gonna go get a shower, get some more makeup on to start filming a couple of videos. Videos. I've had some amazing things come through as well. Shall I show you those quickly first? Sorry, I'm gonna have to take off this though because I'm absolutely boiling. What a beautiful day! It's literally the most beautiful blue sky day. Which is why today I got the tube home and I was enjoying life. It was just so nice. Although I don't understand like this lad next to me on the on the tube was just listening to his music through his phone to his ear and I was thinking like you could have it on your lap and you'd still be able to hear it. I can hear it. It sounds like what possesses people to listen to their music aloud for other people. I just I find it very confusing. Very confusing indeed. Um, I so I've had four amazing things come through. The first thing from Gillan. Gillan sent me a little treat because I'm going to India. Their Shalimar fragrance, which I believe is the, like one of the first like, oriental fragrances there ever was on the market. Oh, so I saw Armani yesterday. They have some mega things out. Bless them. Game is stronger with you. It's shower gel for Alex. He's gonna love that. And there's just loads of their new eye tints out for spring which are in these really beautiful colours, like super springy. So I'm gonna do like a blog post on them, I think, with all the pretty spring lead colours. Oh no, that's a, a new lip gloss, which is very light and lovely. Really pretty, like copper peach shade for eyes. Oh, another lacquer. This is even more lighter. <laughs> and then, oh, how nice is that? So those three, those three colours are brand new. I think it's called Tokyo Gardens, their brand new collection. Oh, and another, another liquid lip paint finish. So that's Armani. Then we have Dior. It's a brand new Dior Poison Girl Unexpected. I haven't tried this yet. Oh, and they've also thrown me in some new Dior Skin Forever undercover foundations because I was in shade 20 and sometimes I feel it's a little dark for me so I wanted to try out shade 10 and that actually looks really good. Oh, and there's also shade 12. Oh, there's two shades. Oh, this is more pink toned. 12 is more pink toned, 10 is more um, yellow toned. And they've sent me, oh, a roll of pearl for Poison Girl. So 
Thank you very much, Dior. And the final one is from Dolce & Gabbana Beauty. All of the new, it's like all the new spring collections are coming out. Ooh, what is this? Got the Dolce & Gabbana Garden Eau de Parfum. Got a smooth eye colour quad. Oh, that's really nice. Really pretty eye colour quad. Gorgeous packaging as always. What is this? Luminous cheek colour, Rosa Duchessa in provocative. How pretty. Nice. Oh, wow. Look at that blusher. I wonder what that looks like on. Oh my gosh. It's so like. Oh, it's so shimmery as well. I wonder if that's just that top layer. It's shimmering like a really rich, almost like purpley pink. Gorgeous. And we've got nail lacquer white. Oh, I love it. I've not seen a white nail lacquer for a while from like a luxury brand, it's like a spring edit. Very nice. What is this? 510 lipstick. We've also got. Oh, well, that's nice. That's really sparkly pearlescent underneath as well. And. Oh my gosh. Hell yes. Dolce Peony 130. Yes, 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 that is so me. Beautiful. It's a very, um, almost going towards a neon pink coral. And the final thing, another lipstick, this time in a, a berry. And that's 645. Beautiful. So that's the new Dolce collection. Well, there are some lovely, lovely things out right now. So these have literally just arrived in the past two days. So that's exciting. Right, so I, um, I'm gonna go get a shower. Hi. Oh, well, that's not gonna work. I thought that today, I'll just quickly show you what I've been putting on my face. There's my, this is gonna be like my, this no makeup makeup routine that I'm doing right now. That's what this is going to be. Just in case any of you are interested in what I'm doing, I've still got some, um, my eyelashes on, I'm not taking them, them off. But I washed my face and I've just put on my Lumia MD Brightening Under Eye Cream and then my Ultimate Serum and then the Recovery Balm Moisturiser over the top so my skin is feeling amazing and I'm just going to use now the Sheer Hydration SPF 40 because now I use retinol every night so more so than ever I mean you're meant to you should really wear SPF every single day even if it's not sunny because it's not just all about the UV is it UVA that's the actual sunlight, but there's UVB in the atmosphere. It's either that way or the other way around. Either way, you can still, um, you're still causing damage to your skin just by, just from the light, never, regardless of whether it's hot sunlight beaming on your face. It's all about kind of protecting your skin from the free radicals and all the different things that are in the atmosphere. So. Always wearing SPF, guys. I'm learning this now to go along. You'll have far better skin when you're older. It's less wrinkly if you do. This is where my routine starts. Um, the Vita Liberata Beauty Blur has been my go-to since I filmed for them, for this, for their campaign. And since then, it's literally become my lifesaver. I apply it all over with my hands. It just blends in so easily. I have mine in Latte Light. But there are, I think there's five shades, five different shades that hopefully will suit a lot of skin tones. Because it isn't meant to be a foundation, you see, so it's not that foundation. It's meant to be like an underlayer, really, that adds illumination and it primes and it moisturises and it just adds the most illuminating base. I use it really as a... Um, as a bit of coverage, as a bit of colour, as a bit of this, I mean look at the colour, how nice that is, I hope you can see that. A bit of colour and also the illumination that it gives to the skin is absolutely beautiful. But pretty much that is all I want on my skin right now, that illuminating finish. Now I am going to be filming so I'm going to put on a little bit, probably a little bit more than I have been for the past week and a half. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm going to go in first with the Bare Minerals concealers. These are the Bare Pro concealers that just came out and they're really, really good. I'm going to draw that in. And I'm literally doing this whole routine these days with just my hands. I'm really just liking the, the look of it. I mean, I find that my under eyes don't get anywhere near as caked. But I think that's because I don't have an under layer. I don't have like a foundation layer underneath it. So... It means I have less product going on this area of my face here that's obviously very thin anyway. 
I just put a lot of concealer around my nose. Just because I have constant runny nose. I think I have allergic rhinitis. I need to go to the doctor about it, but have I spoke about this before? Maybe. Yeah, I think I've got a dust allergy. I think that's what it is. Because sometimes I don't have it. Like when I'm away and I'm outside a lot, I don't have it. But then as soon as I get back to my flat, I start sneezing and um, my nose starts running. And if I do need a little bit extra coverage, just because I'm going to be filming today, I'm going to put a little more on. I'm just going to use the NARS Soft Creamy Concealer just on that very inner bit and in honesty I think the reason that I feel so secure to be doing this makeup routine like this recently is because my skin is just so much better than it was and it's because of these Illumia MD products they're really really working for me I'm meaning to tell you guys for ages about it um, and I said like probably like 15 weeks ago 14 weeks ago I said as soon as I know what these are actually like I'll give you all a rundown and and it's got to that point now where I've been using only this for like 15, 14 weeks from years. I haven't broken out since using it. I've only broken out a couple of times on my chin, but they have been hormonal and I've known why that's happened. That's my own accidental bad pill taking. So that's my fault. But the rest of my skin is so much softer. It's soft, it's silky, it's plumped. It's more moisturised and overall, the over, my overall complexion looks so much better which is why I feel now so much more secure doing a makeup routine like this that's barely that much coverage at all. Usually I would do this and then put a foundation on. As always, my Rimmel Cappuccino liner for lips. As you know, I like to do that and then just blend it in so it's a bit more natural but just leaves an enhanced shape to the lips like that. I am back on my Galan Terracotta. This is in light. Um, I've been using I've been using Hula Light from Benefit and loving that. I'm quite enjoying Terracotta at the moment because it just feels a little bit more summery and has a bit more of a coral tone. So I'm just gonna just brighten up the face a bit. That's it for bronzer. There's no cream contours today for highlight. My Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Light Wand. And again, just using my finger. And then, I'm going to add a little bit of the RMS Luminizer. Because this is a different texture and it's just a bit more... I only just put it here, really. Because I feel like it catches that light so nicely. I'm just going to do a tiny, tiny bit more on the eye today, seeing as I'm filming. Um, I'm just going to use um, the Anastasia palette. And just take a bit of this Primavera, just for a little bit more. Shimmery, shimmery. To my eyelid, but it's just going to be so minimal. It's just for a little bit of shimmer. Yeah, that's it. And I mean, I could use my bronzer, but I'm just going to use a, I'm just going to use the burnt orange shade in here, just to go through my crease. I'm feeling so good today. Feeling really happy. Me and Alex are amazing, work's going so well, we've got trips coming up soon. It's in a really good place. That'll do. And then I'm just going to touch up my my, eye, my mascara and use my Shiseido eyelash curlers. My eyelashes have got a little bit of powder on them. I'm still only using the Bad Gal Bang as well from Benefit. I haven't had an LVL in weeks so I've lost my curl but this mascara is still it's managing to hold my curl which is amazing. There are not many mascaras that can do that. The only last thing to do is my eyebrows. This new Hourglass Arch Arch Brow Volumizing Fibre Gel in Warm Blonde. Oh no maybe it's maybe it's blonde that I prefer the most. I'm just going to fill my eyebrows a tiny bit, just shape them a tiny bit. Yeah, that'll do, just very, very minimal. And then using the fibre brow gel to kind of fill in the rest and brush it all upwards. There we go. I'm going to quickly do my lips though. I'm looking for my lipsticks. I found some giant palmer violets in my bag. Luna. Just to finish off my lips, I'm using Laura Mercier. Velour Extreme Matte Lipstick in Ruthless. Look how kind of chalky these almost look. Like, not really chalky. 
I feel like it's that kind of vibe to them. And then my favourite is this one, Respect, which is the nude. And it's like the perfect grey beige nude. I'll put that in the middle, it dulls down the pink. And so this is kind of like my no makeup makeup look, but with a bit more makeup than other people would do. So next time I'm about to film some videos, I'll put a little bit more on, but this is the kind of vibe with it really. Mm, 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 mm. I once came home with veggie um, vegetables, <laughs> with veggie sweets mm, from Tesco, and absolutely delicious. I just finished filming, oh my god, this dress. I would like to leave this dress on forever, please. This dress is beautiful. I'm absolutely keeping this dress for, for my trip. Mm, mm, mm. So now, <laughs> I'll just film two, right, I'll just film two videos. I filmed two videos, an et a -porte, like luxury haul, and then an ASOS haul. I'm having the best day. I'm literally having the best day. I've not had this much energy in such a long time. And I've been to a spin class today. Now though, I have clothes and bits everywhere that I need to work out what I want to keep, what I don't. I've got to put away all my lighting. Wish me luck. I'm going to put on some Post Malone and sing along. Hi guys, good morning. It's now Saturday. I didn't get to film yesterday. Oh, it's my new way. Oh, one sec. I'm just in the midst of... God, crazy hair. I'm in the midst of crazy hair. I'm in the midst of going to get my nails done. Dry by... No, not Drooby. Dry by Mortimer Street. That's the one. Okay, Uber. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't film yesterday. All I did yesterday, I went to a hardcore class. And it was a dynamic Pilates class. And it was, a, it was so challenging. It's probably one of the most difficult classes I've ever done. But very very good fun at the same time and I just had a big meeting at Gleam so I didn't film anything but now it's Saturday I'm on my way now to get my nails done because I'm going away on Saturday and I'm gonna go to a cycle class again seeing as they're right it's next Saturday. door what it is Saturday yeah I know didn't you just say I'm going away on Saturday going away on Sunday going away on Sunday oh my my, my, cab, my cab's here <laughs> look how pretty these are so I went for gold tips again with the gold foil and then this is Oh yes, yeah, so I had Be Demure, this pink underneath, and then I had Strawberry Smoothie over top that gave this really like metallic shade. And then the gold foil, look how beautiful. So happy. So I just finished up at my spin class. Absolutely boiling hot. It, I think it's like my sixth, fifth or sixth class of the week. And my body well and truly was like, no way. So I just couldn't keep like time, I couldn't keep rhythm, I was absolutely knackered. I could just not get my legs to move fast enough. Knackered, I'm just knackered. So we got we got back and we've just been out, I've been out to Boots to buy everything we need for our India trip. We've got DEET, we've got Imodium, we've Max got and Max and we've got things to make us feel better if if we uh, get bad tummies. We've got a lot of things, don't we? We do. Let's go this way. Why? Okay. Yeah, but we're super excited. Alex is already packed. I need to pack now. I'm so tired, guys, after that. It absolutely, like I said before, it absolutely killed me that. That's been. And also, the stirrup, not a stirrup, the, um, the seat. <laughs> the seat was really digging into my behind. So it was really uncomfortable as well. Why did you change it? There's well, nothing I could really do. At that point, I was already on the bike. So, anyway, back home now. Alex is going to make the dinner. Who else would make it? Me. Yeah, right.